Clive Woodward was great at pulling things together. So he created an environment for us to be the best we could be. Now you can have a great team, you can have great individuals, but if you don't create the right environment, then you're not going to get the best out of it. Clive Woodward was great at pulling the best backs coach, forwards coach, kicking coach, line outs coach. We even had an eye coach he brought in. It was all about the one percenters. And for me as a player, it was brilliant because I'd come from rugby league and I'm thinking, well, can I learn that much more in rugby union? And then when Clive put all these things together, I'm thinking, why do we need an eye coach? You know, I can see. But it was all about visual perceptions and how can we get better? So we worked with this lady called Dr. Cheryl Calder and it was all about what do you see? So for me, it was what do I see when I I catch a ball at fullback straight away what do I see and quite often it was always a threat so it was four or five South Africans breathing down my neck ready to kill me and all of a sudden now my focus was on the threat and I couldn't see anything else but through a lot of different things whether it be working on the computer or going working out in the field she taught us to look at the big picture and to use a peripheral vision and also understand that if we see the big picture then we can make better decisions so all of a sudden now when I was catching the ball I wasn't just looking at the threat I was looking at hang on a minute yes I can see the big guys coming to fill me in but I can also see now this space at the back that winger's come up into the line so this space down on the left hand side the fullback's out of position I can also see and hear that I've got two people in support so with that in mind and with that knowledge now I was able to make better decisions rather than just thinking oh, I'm going to get hit so even stuff like that it was massive it did make a big difference to us and certainly for me as a fullback so Clive Woodward put some great things into place but then also he didn't need to ask Martin Johnson to stay out and do more line outs it wasn't coaching Martin Johnson what to say because Martin Johnson had that experience he had that knowledge and he was one of the best at doing it he didn't have to say to Johnny Wilkinson look you know maybe you need to stay out for another half an hour and kick a few balls now Johnny was out two hours before training and two hours after so there were a lot of things within our team that was player led we had a captain Martin Johnson you know we had our manager but we also had it was almost a team within a team and we had leaders in the back so somebody would be doing the attacking game somebody would be doing the defensive game somebody would be in charge of the line outs so all of a sudden now instead of the pressure just being on one person the pressure was shared within the knowledge of the team 